Okay, so let's recap from the video you should have watched just before this one. And Excel is basically a spreadsheet program. It loves numbers. Every cell has an address or a location. We can see that in the name box. Here is a cell. This is cell A1. Here we can see we have a column. That is column D. Here we have a row. This is row number 9. So far, so good. Here we have a range of cells because you can select you can click, you can drag, you can select a range of cells. So here we have all the way from A3, which is where I started, to B6. I've selected all of those. I've merged them together. Merging we'll talk about in a, a later lesson. So that's just to recap very quickly. So let's have a look at what else we can do with Excel. Having a look here, we see we've got a couple of words here. We have sum, average, max, min, and product. These are called functions. Now, a function actually makes working with Excel even easier and does the work for you. You don't have to think and calculate and work things out on your own. That's ridiculous. Excel will do that for you. Have a look. The sum function will add cells together. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to go and click over here in K3. There it is there. And I've got two numbers. I have 50 in cell E3 and I have 55 in cell F3. So in cell K3 I'm going to use the sum function to add those two together. So again because I'm performing a calculation of some kind I'm going to type equals and I'm going to type the word sum. And you can see that as I start typing, the, it starts guessing like all the other functions that I might be looking for. And it shows me what is available with what I've typed. That's the first one I want. It even has a screen tip, a little tool tip there to tell me what that does. That's fantastic. I can double click if I like. That'll complete that there. And now it's asking me for the first number or the first argument. These are called arguments. Okay, not like a fight that you have with somebody. This is an argument as in the computer needs to get some information from somewhere. So it needs to know, right, what am I adding together? I'll just take my mouse and I will click and I'll just keep my mouse button down, drag and select these two cells. There you can see what it's done. S equals sum, open up the parentheses, E3 colon F3. So from E3 through to F3 and I'll close that off there that's what I want you to add together press enter and there is the answer there's another way you could do this as well you could do it like this equals sum and I press tab just to auto complete that function I could select cell e3 I could put a comma and I could go cell f3 like that it's the same thing it adds that cell to that cell so that's how you can select individual cells as well so that is the sum function, very easy. Let's look at the average function. The average function works out the average of a range of numbers. So here I have a range of numbers and I want to know what is the average between all those numbers. So that's what the average function is for. Equals, A-V-E-R-A, -E there we have average, great. I can just go ahead and select the entire range. Now don't stress if you've gone over the number it's fine you're still selecting that cell have a look at your I'm pointing at the screen have a look at cell i5 it still gets selected so don't worry about that finish that off press enter there is the average there's my function my formula bar over there I can see exactly what I've typed in there the next one is max max stands for maximum the biggest the highest the greatest find the highest number so if I was looking for the highest number in this range of cells, I would use the max feature, function, not feature, equals max, select that range of cells. I can just press enter, it'll autocomplete the rest for me. There it is there, 489. Let's check, yep, there, that is the highest number. Min, obviously the opposite of max. So let's do that, equals min, Press my tab key, that'll finish it off there, and select my range, enter. Product does what it says on the tin. Multiplies two numbers together, equals product, that number, and that number. This time I'm just doing it with a comma between. It doesn't matter which way, they're all the same. 
and those are your basic functions that we use that we start learning about when we start working with Excel. Voila! And those, those, those are, those are your functions here, baby.